Want to get richer? Want to do it quick? Today we are revealing how you can do that. All through the art of budgeting. So, if you ready? Let's go! It's Kerry and Berry. Hey, hey Kerry, Kerry and Berries. Berries. I'm Kerry. And I'm Berry. We've all felt that way. A depressing bank account, zero, 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 and you just want to burn money away on anything and everything. Well, I suppose you might do, but uh, <laughs> yes, we, we've all been in that situation, haven't we? A desire to jet abroad, where money is no object. Well, how about we spin that on its head? Let's have a bit of extra cash on our hands by the end of the year, shall we? I'm Today we are going to be focusing on three main topics on budgeting. Finance assessing. Ooh. Not quite as complicated as it sounds. Food and drink. And shopping. Ooh, I love a good shop. I know. I'm fully aware of that. Plus, we've got a cheeky bonus tip coming up later on. Ooh, what's that? Like? A tip that changed our finances forever. Hmm. So it's just a fun question, let us know what you do with a million pounds. We've also got a competition coming up later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. Barry wants to reveal a secret. And it's hidden underneath my hat. Right, so I've gone from crazy long hair to that. It's a long story involving... You should do the preview. Oh. Roll the preview. Right, basically... Um... This, what happened after he went to the hairdresser. <laughs> And this is what happened when he attempted to cut his hair and he ended up having bowl patches. And then, um, he has to get his own mother. My mum snipped the rest off because it had gone all well, bowl. bowl patches. So we had just had to take it all off. So this is what's going on in my hair. Oh, it's fine. It's just how much hair I've got. Stop it suddenly stressing. seems to go it short and then it goes long. It's, it's taking lo loads off there and then not that. Barry, this one is all yours. Okay, and the next topic you can speak about. <laughs> but for today, I'm doing the finance assessing. Okay. Step number one. Assess your, assess your income. Assess how much you're earning every year. Write it all down. Usually this involves doing a quick bit of multiplying of what you earn per month and timesing it by 12. Step Two. Assess your outgoing. This is something a lot of people forget to do. How much are you spending per year? Ooh. Like really spending. Now this may take a while. Write down all of your outgoing. How much each one adds up to and the name of it, write it down. So that's all your subscriptions, all your travel costs, those constant regular coffee trip, takeaways, gas, electric, your bills, your TV subscriptions and all Ooh. that. What about the latest phone? Do you get that on a regular basis too? <laughs> you do, don't you? You might not do, but I bet you do, don't you? Upgrades, yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah, it all costs money. What about those posh headphones, eh? See, they all add up, don't they? Keep adding up all those recurring outgoings. Subtract your outgoings from your income and write the grand total down on a new note. Now this, this is how much you really have at the end of the year. Not how much you earn altogether, how much you earn, take away how much you spend, that is what you really have at the end of the year. So shall we increase it? It's the fun Ooh. bit. Go through those outgoings and write a list of only the absolute essential spendings that you need to be spending. Like, only necessary. The likelihood is that the majority of those spendings are actually quite unnecessary, especially the subscription stuff like that. Mm. Now it's up to you how many of these that you keep, but the more you get rid of, the more you're gonna have by the end of the year. So if you wanna keep some of those little luxuries, then go for it, but try to limit it to three or four. That way you're really saving some extra money. But make a note of what those luxuries are and stick to them. That way you know you've got your set luxuries, you ain't going off those set luxuries, so you know, that that's what it is gonna be. Eating and drinking. So don't be lazy, make a proper meal. Mm. So instead of going out to takeaways or restaurants like a couple times a week, make do what you've got at home. So if you've got potatoes, make them into chips, jacket potatoes. Healthier. Healthier style. Mm. It's when you comment it. Sorry. It, it, sorry, my, it made my backtrack. I lost your flow. Ready meals. It's okay for like a one-off kind of thing, but if you continue to do that, it adds up 
and it costs money mm. because that's the lazy way we want it to be cheap and healthy so buy the ingredients separately and you will find that is more cheaper than buying a ready meal you hey. can make several foods with that it's like making yourself a homemade chili yeah it is and it's uh, usually quite a bit tastier too and plus it's same for water it's cheap or free well it's uh, available sometimes people want to buy it so Joke. It's available on tap. Hey, hey. That was clever, that, wasn't it? Very well, clever. some people like to. Um, yeah. Sometimes tap water is not always the best. You know? Well, no, it's Especially, not. Especially, it depends on where you it are. It does depend because we Ooh. we've actually got really good healthy water around here. But there's a lot of countries that have got a lot of bad Scale stuff water. in the water, and you want to check. And you can actually get water purifiers for at home. Expensive, but. They will save well, you in the long is run. There is water, um, buying bottles. There is some water that is uh, cheap. Yeah. 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 Shopping. My advice is to use cash, not card. On cash, you've got a certain set amount. With a card, you don't see what you're spending, and it just keeps on spending. But then I'm going to interrupt you right. because not everyone likes to use a cash. Well, do maybe they? not everybody likes to use card, Kerry. <laughs> But you, when you do use your card, you just got to remember to check your bank statement by the end of the week or by the end of the month to see your outgoing. Yeah, but I personally think if you've got a set amount, you know, say you walk into a shop with £20, you know for a fact you can't spend more than £20. If you walk into a shop with a, a card and you say I'm going to spend £20, it's so much easier to think, oh, I might have to actually spend £30. Cash, you know what you're spending. Mm, yeah, especially if you're out drinking. Alternative product. Make a list of things that you need to buy from the shop before you head out to the shops. Because sometimes we, you know, the wandering eye, you look at a product, oh, but yeah. that's not on your list. Ooh. So if you stick to your list, you are not going to go, you're not basically not going to go wrong, are you? You're not going to go wrong, no. Because you're sticking to your list. And you're not uh, flying off that list. Yeah. Stay away from the brands. Mm. Not not Russell Brand. Mm. Joe Brand. Isn't that Joe? There was a Joe Brand one time. Comedian. Stay away from the brands. You know, um, you can actually get... Think of beans. Baked beans as an example. Instead of buying all well, your top range beans, so why don't you buy supermarket? Own. I mean, they can't be that bad. You know, supermarkets have got a reputation to hold. So if they made really bad beans, then you think it's a really bad supermarket. You will get, often, usually, really cheap products, which is virtually the same as the top brand names. Saving you- It's just the name you're paying for sometimes. And a lot of money. Use a price comparison site. Before you go shopping, look at a price comparison website to tell you which shops have the cheapest items of the kind of ones that you, you want to buy. For example, Morrison, might be cheaper than Tesco's, or Tesco's might be cheaper than Morrison's. It all yeah. depends on the product you are buying. But if you find one product is cheaper at Morrison's, but the rest are cheaper at Tesco's, then um, then it probably isn't worth the fuel journey between but shops then to go and get that one. Some also. shops compares themselves. Well, I, actually, yeah, you're right. Fair, I just can't get used to your hair like that. Oh, okay, you're right. I then maybe best to use an independent comparison website. Yeah, that's a good point. Sometimes the shop itself will compare themselves to another shop saying, oh, we yeah. are more or cheaper than... On these items. Example, yeah, yeah. They will say, well, more cheaper Ignoring compared to these, Tesco's. Not... We compared our price to another shop. Yeah, it's true. It is true. But it's called shop around. That's yeah. what I do. Shop at night. Avoid the crowds. Some supermarkets reduce their items. Oh, so yeah. you get the best bargains if you go at a certain time. If you yeah. if you notice that in some of your supermarkets, the prices are reduced or there's a reduced shelf, then you're getting to yourself a bargain. You are. My mum does that. She goes right at the end of closing time. All the certain times of the day, they reduce and, it, but then they reduce yeah. it again a third time or second time. But because it's all going back. They need these items shipped. It is going at the right time in these supermarkets because they need them gone. If not, they're going to be thrown in the bin. All in all. And you're missing out a good bargain. All in all, shopping right, right before the shop closes is the best time because you're going to get a good deal. Usually. Our bonus tip is to get up early and Ooh. get a little morning part-time job. So just imagine the power of getting this like a little cleaning job for just two hours per morning. What? 
say that's even even if it's just like nine pound or nine pound an hour for two hours is eighteen pounds per day. Round about, yeah. Eighteen pounds every day for five days a week is. We won't talk about the tax bit. Eighteen times five. Ninety pounds. <gasps> the net your ninety pounds, and do you do know that ninety times four? It's three hundred and sixty. Three hundred and sixty pounds extra per month. A year? A year? No, not a year. <laughs> Sorry. Well, actually, <laughs> three hundred and sixty times twelve. There we go. The answer is four thousand three hundred and twenty. Four thousand three hundred and twenty pounds extra a year. You can earn. You know, to to your But income. we're not talking about yeah, you know, just got, by like, having tax. Yeah, but, tax. Oh, probably not, Kerry, unless you're working a certain amount of hours. You okay. might be, to be fair. But well, that's the next. I for just, just slide that in. True, but waking up early and doing just a couple of extra hours per day, four thousand three hundred and whatever. Talking about amazing. slide, can and that just, is how you can really earn can a massive amount. Can we just amount. slide the yeah, carry on. subscribe button across? Oh yes, by the way, yes. If you haven't already, subscribe! Yeah, so um, Let's make this it button made it to our new studio, but we've currently not got anywhere to really put it, have we? No, so, so um, it's just wanted to make it its appearance. But I do Let's... have a lovely little flower right by my head. <sighs> our keyword is... Coffee pot. Coffee pot. Comment pot. coffee pot and you could be our next shout out. Ooh. Great, isn't it? So don't forget to share this video with somebody you think may appreciate a few budgeting tricks. tricks people are found they've been saving a little bit of cash every year a little bit thousands of pounds yeah. Kerry thousands of pounds it's have been start, actually known to have been saved through doing these tricks listed and that is no joke that's more money to spend on things you really want in life and who you really want to spend it with so click up there and watch the, the most amazing video that you're gonna see all day long so take care and God bless bye. you all there is standingly astonishing, and strikingly bewildering. It's Carrie and Barry. Oh, flip! Oh. <laughs>